Hello and welcome back to SWAT 4. We are currently playing the Quick Fuel Convenience Store, which is a mission where we have a barricade hostage situation with at least three hostages. So, this is what happened. We've got a crazy drug addict named Alice Jenkins. She is nuts. It is a unrehearsed intro. I'm not even going to try this again. She's a bad person because her last name's Jenkins. Just throwing that out there in case anyone named Jenkins watches this. So, we want to be careful. Even though we got a, uh, even though we have a taser, I'm not going to be bringing it because these people are on drugs and they added, I kid you not, they added that if people are old or if people are on drugs and if I tase them, they have a higher chance of dying. Not joking. So, we're just going to go in there and we're going to try to convince her to lay down her weapons. They apparently tried some really shitty bank robbery or something, trying to get some drug money. And here we go. We're going to be going into a convenience store. We're going to be bringing uh, MP5 A4s with 9mm jacketed hollow point. I'm going to be bringing a 1911 JSP for my uh, sidearm. Reynolds is going to be rocking his Nova Tactical. MP5s the rest of the boys. Light armor, attack helmet. Let's do it! We are going to be trying to take everybody alive. These people are just uh, drug addicts and uh, they need some help. They made some bad decisions and that's not going to mean that I have to kill them. I did to convince them. Jesus Christ, sir. Yeah, there's a gunman. I see him. Hey! And that's right. I just shot the gun out of a man's hand. Did you like that, bud? Did you like that I shot a gun out of your hand? Oh, you had some drugs on you, did you? Oh shit. Well, this usually isn't locked. That's what's fun about this game. There's um, well designed maps, multiple entry points, and uh, gosh, you just really don't know what's going to happen most of the time. Oh my god. Employees should wash that goddamn toilet. What the hell's been going on in here? Is this locked? It ain't locked. What's up? It's casual. Casual SWAT commander day. I just come in and I say, sup? Everything cool? Everything cool in here? Alright, let's check this out real quick. I heard... Oh yeah, snipers. So, oh yeah, I got picture in picture. Look at this shit. This game's great. This game is wonderful. I can even control them through it. But I won't be doing that, because that's crazy. Um... So yeah. I did, wasn't expecting to be doing any recording anytime soon, but, you know, sometimes you just feel like doing it, so you might as well do it. We're going to wedge this door so they don't come in. Uh, according to our blueprints, that is the uh, main sort of uh, guest area of the convenience store. Also, check out this great ad, Do Sex. Condoms cheaper than, than, a, than, a, than, a, than a car seat. Wonderful fake ad. Just absolutely great. So that door is wedged. Uh, this is like the employee break zone. Apparently someone's ringing somebody up in there. Oh, they're trying to get into the money. That is uh, clear. Here is towards more to the storage zone. Storage and admin. We got a gunman on the other side of that door. We're going to go into that door. We're going to go in there hard. Ready to go. I'm not going to be taking any more chances about shooting guns out of people's hands. Actually, let's see if I can see what's on the other side of this desk. I want to see what how many people I got to go in on. Jeez. That doesn't look good. So, here's our problem. When we open this door to toss the grenade in there and make entry, he might either run out the door or run into the room. I'd like for him to run into the room, but I'm not sure if that's what's going to happen. So, 
but we're gonna we're gonna just have to do our best. I'm gonna run and punch this guy in the face. It worked! <laughs> so one of the things that these uh, these helmets right here that I'm wearing do is that they make you immune to flashbangs. Somehow. I'm not sure if that's a real technology or not. I doubt it is. But uh, I don't have to... I can do stuff like that. I can just say throw a flashbang and run right on top of that flashbang. Which, as you can see, detonates in a really nice effect. Right, did that guy have drugs on him? I gotta check. Alright, let's go in here. That's locked. Pick that shit. Being cool is my job. Cool cola. Only Nick 725. That's shit. That is some shit right there. Welcome to rambling with Paul. Alright, so this should be the um, cooler behind the milk box. I don't work in a grocery store, I don't know what you're talking about. So, they like to run into that milk box to try to uh, escape. And suspects can actually escape in this version of the game. If they make it to an exit, boom, you lost a suspect. That does not look good for a SWAT team. Well, it also doesn't reflect well on the officers who should be <coughs> securing a perimeter. But I'm not one of those officers, so I don't care. I almost shot him by accident. So we're going to come in here. Uh, now, Alice Jenkins is a real tricky customer. She will, uh, she has, she's actually one of the perfect people to demonstrate another version, uh, another uh, a feature of this mod is uh, insanity. Um, customer, uh, customers. Suspects are either, are you guys following me? Suspects are either um, polite meaning that they won't make it a priority to cover hostages with their guns. Or they're insane, which means that they will instantly open fire on officers and run over and just be like, you know what? Boom, boom, you're dead. Sorry, sir. But, um, so it adds a level of tension to it, and Alice Jenkins is definitely one of the crazy ones. And I can't tase her, so we're just going to try to gas her, and I'll gas myself, and we'll just, you know, yell at each other until, uh, Oh, for God's sake. We yell at each other until uh, one of us budges. How you doing, Reynolds? It's unlocked. Moving clear. Go when ready. Got it. Moving, go! There they are! Get your hands up and get down! Don't fucking shoot me, please. Alright, I am playing way more gung-ho than I usually do. Um... One of the other problems, possibly one of the reasons that I'm more gung ho, is that the last version of this mod had the punch attack have a range of 180 of whatever units they are, which I could probably punch this guy from here, which made it pretty damn useful, and I could stand at arm's length and just punch the hell out of all comers. So this should take us right behind the counter. Would you shut up? Takes us right behind the counter where Alice Jenkins is. Move it. You're in my spot. Hmm. Move over. The rest of her boys, shut the f Who the fuck are you? Fields, shut up. The rest of the boys are probably in the front room uh, with some hostages. It looks like I have two unaccounted for Kim Dong Yin and Heidi Rosenstein. So what we're going to try to do hmm, is I can either wedge and come in through the employee area to her left, hopefully getting a grenade off her, because there's no windows in between there and here. Or I can come out here, try to yell for her compliance. It won't work. Try to get a, get a grenade off. It won't work unless she rushes us and one of my men will shoot him. And we'll be taking shots through these bulletproof windows. Bulletproof my ass. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the long way. We're going to wedge this door. And we're going to come in back through the employees only area. And we are going to light the shit out of these people. But yeah, SWAT 4. Wonderful game. Just absolutely a wonderful game. You can agonize over bringing jacketed hollow point between jacket soft point, FMJ, 
Uh, and as you can see, be almost done with a mission and only have fired one bullet and have taken the guy alive. It's a great game. Just absolutely wonderful. Uh, it's so stressful. It's, uh, it's, oh, it is a, such an experience. I'm so glad that there is an active modding community for it. It really has made my day. So we are going to... Don't shoot me, please. Alright, this isn't going well. I'm just trying to keep these people from standing back up again. So I'm going to check out here so I can possibly pop a guy. He dropped it. Thank God. Now, is he the only person? Oh, that's the real problem. I think there's one in the cooler. There is not one in the cooler. Thank God. I don't think I've ever taken all these people alive and gotten their drugs. Usually their drugs fall through the rendering and it's a big old problem. Are these guys fired a Oh my god. This is possibly the best this mission has ever gone for me, which is really funny. Is that a gun? No. Oh, hey. So, How you doing? That should be a perfect mission, actually. Oh, I'm missing a gun. I'm missing a gun. Please don't automatically end on missing a gun. Or some drugs. Uh, I'm gonna possibly cut this out until I find the gun. Where the hell is that gun? Where could that gun be? Unless I can find it, like, really quickly. Uh, the person who introduced me to this game, I guess I can do this shout-out right now, so I'll keep it in, uh, was named Lethal Feline. Oh, she had a gun. You know what? She gets a light stick. It's gun for light stick day. How you doing? Lethal Feline. What a gamer. Uh, and uh, I'm surprised he hasn't covered this yet. Boom! Perfect mission. So, uh, I didn't expect that to happen at all. That was our perfect mission of the, what is it, quick stop, fuel, whatever the hell. Um, and we'll be seeing some more changes that the SWAT, uh, SWAT Elite Force version 5.1 has to offer in the next episode. I've been Officer Encantos. Don't be a criminal. That didn't work that well.